AJ, thank you so much for being here. You might be wondering why we're going live a little bit late today. Well, that is because Dr. Michael Greger, who I'll be interviewing live on Friday at 8.15 a.m. Pacific time, had an amazing four-hour webinar. We'll be sure to get that link to you when we send it out to our mailing list. And it was there was 11,000 people on it. It was four hours on how to survive a pandemic. It was absolutely incredible. So I did not want to compete with Dr. Michael Greger, but Hopefully you guys are done watching that so that you can watch this. So today's guest is someone named Margaret Clark, and she's here with her family. She is from the Body Deli in the desert where I live. And I'll tell you a little bit how I met her and how this came to be. You know, every day I've been doing this show almost at 100 episodes now since sheltering in place began. And I get a lot of compliments that people say, oh, your skin is so beautiful. Well, thank you. It wasn't always that case, though. And we recently had the New York dermatologist, Dr. Jessica Cranton, who'll be back next month by popular demand. And she said a lot of our skin, it's genetic. A lot of it is what we eat. And I know I eat really well, so that helps. But I want to tell you what I use on my skin and, you know, offer you a discount if you want to try it. And it's kind of a funny story how it started. So I don't live anywhere near stores. I live in Indio, which is 21 miles east of Palm Springs, Indio, not India. And there's, it's not like when I lived in Sherman Oaks where Bloomingdale's was across the street and Trader Joe's was next door. You got to kind of drive to go anywhere. So the Apple store, which used to be across the street is now only in one place. It's called El Paseo. And it's this kind of fancy schmancy place in Palm Desert, which is kind of equivalent to Beverly Hills or Robertson in LA. And my husband had to go to the Apple store, which, you know, meant like two hours. So my friend and I, Jen, we decided just to walk up and down El Paseo. We had never been there before. And we were, walk we, we were there for, I don't know, a couple hours. And where we parked was in front of a store called The Body Deli. We didn't know what it was, but we, it was the last thing we saw before we were going to go home. And then I noticed in the window, it said the word vegan. Well, as a 43-year-old vegan, that got my attention. I went in the store and the gentleman was very nice. And we were like, eh, you know, looking at this, you know, hair, skin care. And I'm like, whatever. I don't, I don't believe in that. You know, it doesn't matter. My grandmother washed with ivory soap and she had beautiful skin. And so he, he was so nice. He goes, well, would you like a sample? And I'm like, okay, just give me a sample of like one of your most popular products. And so he gave me this thing called the Blueberry Fusion Cleanser. And I love these little sample things because they're great when you travel. And I got to tell you, I... I have never felt like my face was so clean. And I'm not, I'm not kidding. I actually called Margaret, the owner, because here's the thing. I wear very minimal makeup since moving here. I have to wear a little bit for the broadcast. Otherwise it's too shiny with the light. But when I, in the past, when I would wash my face, it just never felt like the makeup came off. I would use one of those makeup like pads after washing it and makeup would still come off. The first time I used this, it was like my, it was like my, I don't know what it is. It smelled great, but it did something. I felt like my face was like clean. It was like the weirdest thing. And so I said, I called her up. I said, how is this possible? Like I've been washing my face for like 59 years. This is the first time it felt clean. And she kind of explained to me why her stuff is different and special. And so of course I went back and I bought it and I really do use this. And then what's really neat about it is like, it's kind of like C's can where well, I mean, it's not not it's better for you than C's candy, but you know how it C's candy like you get a free piece if you want it to try a new flavor. Well, every time you go, if you want, they'll give you these little samples so that you can try before you buy. So then I ended up buying a couple more products that the shampoo and hair conditioner and their stuff. It's the stuff smells so amazing like this, this vanilla uh I, I wish you could smell it. But anyway, don't take my word for it. You, you can get a 10% discount if you want to try it. Let me please, without further ado, introduce Margaret Clark and family. Thanks so much for being here. Hi. Hi, AJ. Thank Hi. you for having us. Of course. It's a long time coming. So I'm, I'm so happy. Are, are you guys even open? I don't know if you're considered an essential business or how's it? I know you do a big online business. Retail's allowed to be open now. <laughs> Terrific. Always an essential business. So why, why do I love your product so much? <laughs> well, they're fresh food for your skin. I think that you, you are gravitating towards something that's clean and natural and uh, whole, like whole foods, like when you're juicing and you're, instead of ingesting it, you're putting it topically on top of your face, on your skin. And your, your skin knows the nutrients and it, it's accepting them and resonating with them. And it's like, wow, you're giving me something real here that I can use. It's real vitamins, real nutrients, and they're all from plants and it's all fresh and it's alive. It's not been, you know, it's not dead. 
So you have, you know, it's just like somebody juicing all the time is going to feel a difference in their body. The same thing when they're doing that same type of uh, thing for their skin, they're going to see a difference. Yeah. Where did you get the idea to, to do, like have basically fresh food for your skin and how long have you been doing this? And are you the, are you the, are you like the, the formulator of these products? Well, I started back in uh, 1978 and I was in the uh, beauty industry for quite a few years and I became allergic to uh, all the products and, and ingredients and chemicals that we used back then. Uh, you know, it's a little bit cleaner now than it was back in those days, but it's, uh, at that time, I lost the use of my hands and I couldn't uh, handle the, the pharmaceutical drugs that they were giving me and the creams. And uh, so I had to start making my own products. And so I did it out of necessity. Um, so it just turned in, it, was, it wasn't planned. It just turned into this, it just snowballed. There was other people that had issues with psoriasis and uh, eczema and different things that they had wrong with their skin issues and dry skin issues. And they, they were allergic to perfumes, allergic to all the chemicals. And uh, there just really wasn't anything on the market that was clean. And uh, I, so I personally, since I started having allergic reactions to everything, it started snowballing into where I was, became allergic to everything. And um, I had to do it to just have a clean product. And then it just, you know, our friends and neighbors and other people that had skin issues uh, started uh, coming to me and wanting me to get, I, I'd give it to them for free for just gifts. And it just snowballed from, from there. But I, um, I wanted to introduce you to my family. So this is my daughter, Ashley. Hello. This is my daughter, Anna. Hi. This is my son-in-law, Augusto. Uh -oh. And uh, they manage the uh, Palm Desert store here and manage the business uh, here and do all the logistics and uh, wholesale accounts. We do a lot of spa business. We make it for the doctor's offices, a lot of private labeling and things like that. But, you know, the community comes here and gets their, uh, gets their soaps. And we also have a free hand sanitizer uh, that we're giving, that we uh, are, I don't know if they can so see that. with purchase, with orders right now, if you feel as you're more, they'll get a free organic Moroccan hand sanitizer. All the ingredients are more healthy, no added chemicals. The alcohol is uh, certified organic, so we're trying to be as healthy as we can. And it smells really good. It smells really good. <laughs> what I love about your, obviously people that don't live in Palm Desert aren't going to visit. They can't, you know, do what, what all of us do, but you can, you can smell everything. You can try everything. And all, the flavors are incredible. Like your mint line, your, I mean, it's just, it's like, it really is like going to a candy store for your body and face. <laughs> Chef AJ, you next need to have smell-o-vision. No. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, Ellen says you all have the glow factor. Debbie, who's watching live, says, can you suggest a body cream for someone with eczema? Ooh, yes. So the, we, we have a, a lavender-based cream, which is really good. This is a wonderful product. It's called the Lavender Chamomile Ultra Rich Cream. It's in a jar. This has some wonderful organic butters that are more of a thick, uh, consistency at room temperature so they're going to lock in that moisture for longer so if you're experiencing dryness especially the elbows the knees really any patches this is really nice and thick to lock it in for a long time that moisture and uh, we have a lot of people that come back jar after jar that say this gives amazing relief well you have beautiful skin yourself i can see bye belly <laughs> yeah what's your best seller citrus the uh we have a citrus one can we get that down it's called citrus, uh, citron vanilla. And the citron vanilla is really good too because it's high in vitamin C. And uh, I'm showing that off, there you go. It's high this is a wonderful aroma blend as well. Is that coming across straight to you? Or is it yes, I, I can see it perfect. Dina Marie says, do you ship to Canada? Yes, we, we do. We ship all over the world. But we also have uh, retailers in Canada. So she can go to our website and check out wholesale location uh spa, spa retail, locations spa locations and then she can go there and she can view all our retailers in that's great are we, typing. Are we direct yeah 
you know, well, cycle trade says they're all beautiful. And my wife is listening to AJ tout the elixir. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a lot of your products yet. Really. I, I only actually have bought three, but I love that you have that rewards program because like when I go in, like a lot of times it's free because I, I, you know, you accrue, like maybe talk about that rewards program. Cause that's kind of cool. Hi is going to go into a savings account and those points and those points uh, gather up and you can use them at ten dollar increments and when you open up your uh, vip account you get ten dollars for free put in there so it's a win-win so if they they have the uh you know going to you just log go to our website thebodybelly.com uh, there's a pop-up banner so you can sign up for free it's free of course you just sign up with your email make a password and you'll receive 100 uh, free points and each 100 points is worth a $10 discount and they keep on earning in there. You can use up to a thousand points at a time, up to a hundred dollars off of an order. So it's a great program. People really love it. it Let them choose to use it however they like and the points don't expire. So it's really nice. That's amazing. Um, Joanne says, thank you. You all look amazing. What about psoriasis? Do you have a cream for, for that? The, the two creams that we showed for eczema and psoriasis, those would be really great starters. The ultra rich cream in the jar, we make it in 13 different aromatherapy blends, but the lavender chamomile would be a wonderful start. Uh, we also have liquid soap. So if the liquid soap that the person's using is aggravating and, and uh, very harsh detergent or harsh fragrance, we have a full range of liquid hand and body soaps that are very gentle, very moisturizing. So it might start with the change of the hand soap then the a healthy cream afterwards. Also, we like to recommend uh, the laundry detergent that they're using, fragrance-free, and really trying to be conscious of eliminating excess fragrances, dyes, or anything synthetic that could be uh, aggravating their immune system or their skin. Great. The Mag Magdalene family says, is there something for creepy skin? My legs and backs of my arms are changing as I age. Yeah, if you have anything anti-aging, I'll buy it. Or, you know, I'd rather, better yet, if you have something anti-dying, like an anti-dying cream. <laughs> now, our, for the, our melon peptide is a wonderful peptide gel. Usually this would be for the face, but this has peptides for line reduction. This is fabulous for on the face, uh, neck, and the upper areas. If you wanted to put it on the body, you definitely could. It would sure make a big difference, though the jar is two ounces more for the face. Uh, but you could definitely work in some anti-aging skin care in those areas. But in our body care line, we do have a wonderful aromatherapy oil here. Now, oil, that's something that's great for the desert climate. And a lot of areas that are real uh, hydrating, they might not need an oil. But here in the desert, it's like a giant dehydrator. And dehydrated skin shows crepiness. So we really want to do lots of uh, water content, drinking as much water as we can. But also a little bit of oil to lock in that moisture is awesome. And this is a, a nice oil. You have a blend, organic uh, coconut, rice bran, jojoba, argan. It's a wonderful blend of giving you a full spectrum of the vitamins and minerals that your skin needs to lock in that hydration for beautiful glowing skin. So an oil in this desert climate is something to look into. Excellent. That's, that's great. Um, there's a question about anything for firming the neck Tracy wants to know could use this brush uh, dry for, brushing. for dry brushing really helps with that crepey skin also. Something that they should incorporate because it's also really, you do it in a rolling, a rolling texture like this, and that's really good for your lymphatic system too. Cool. What was that? And uh, Gina says, are all your products chemical free? Yes. yes, we have our full ingredient list posted of every single product on our website. You can visit thebodybelly.com and look at every single product. The full ingredient list is there. So it's hidden. You can shop online and check it out before you visit the stores to kind of see uh, all the ingredients that we use. And also, if someone does come into the store, we have all the products there. Everything has an ingredient list on it. And we make free samples that you can take the product home and test it out. And some of the products, this product's one of my favorite. It's not just good on your face. It's good on toast. <laughs> oh, my God. So it's, you could actually eat that. That's incredible. Oh, boy. The, the questions are coming on. Linda and Sharon want to know, are all your products vegan and cruelty-free? Yes, we're all cruelty-free. Now, there are some products that use honey. Like, for example, that That's mask we were just talking about. 
We have a few products, uh, very few, that will have some honey in it. So if you're concerned about anything like that, just uh, ask one of our representatives here, and we'll be happy to show you the products that do have honey in it so we can avoid those. Uh, not the whole line. Our whole body care line is all vegan. But there's a couple of facial masks so that might have products. honey. Okay. Or yeah, we like have that. 300 products, and we only have three products. Uh, one's an oatmeal and honey. This is the superfoods and honey. And then you have peaches and cream, which is a organic yogurt-based uh, mask. But uh, out of 300 products, we only have three that aren't vegan. But, but you do have one thing with beeswax, right? So technically, maybe four, just because we want to make sure people don't get that. Oh, that's a good job. Mm -hmm. Okay. I um, know about so three because I put everything on, <laughs> on them. Hold still. Is it burning you? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you are testing on animals then. <laughs> just kidding. <gasps> Karen says, do you have anything to erase wrinkles? Yeah, the customers come in and they're like, what do you got on your face today? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, so with questions about confirming the neck, erasing wrinkles. We just have a brand new product out. Yes, the Phoenix Lift. This is brand new. This is a face and neck lifting oil. This has a patented plant extract called the Phoenix Dactylferia. It's from the date, which we love. We love using local ingredients here. And the date has so much uh, important anti-aging uh, benefits and tons of clinical research showing the anti-aging and the anti-wrinkle efficacy. Also helping with collagen synthesis and a natural barrier on the skin to help with sun damage. So it's just fabulous face, neck, and oil. It's all vegan, has a wonderful blend of oils in it. Uh, we have organic jojoba, squalane, marula, argan, just a whole plethora of beautiful, beautiful oils. And this one is very popular, and you can layer it, just a light pat all over the face, neck, and chest, and you can put it on with other moisturizers or by itself. It feels amazing. That looks great. People don't tell uh, important dates are. Dates are just loaded with nutrition and they're good for you, you know, inside your body as well as outside your body. So we incorporate the dates uh, in that product. We also have, well, it's got honey, <laughs> but it's a Coachella. No, honey. that's a honey date. That's a honey date. That's oh, the, honey oh date. that's right. This honey is date. the date. It's actually, a variety of dates. <laughs> yeah, this is the date that's actually called a honey date. So it's not real. It's not honey from honeybees. Wow, that's incredible. Um, some a question about from Christina. Do you have anything for a dry for dry skin and a dry scalp? Ooh. Yeah, shampoo and conditioner, excellent. The living hair shampoo and conditioner. We only yeah, I, I, I actually have those. And, and the reason I have them is because they gave me a sample the second time I came in and I came home and tried it. And I'm like, and you guys have such generous samples because you can try it like four or five times and then be sure. And then, yeah, I actually do use the living hair, both of them. And they, they, it's like putting a smoothie on your head. And when I put the face, when I put this on, it's like putting blueberry pie on my face. And for the hair, after shampooing and conditioning, if your scalp is very dry, every once in a while, a nice oil treatment is great to massage mm -hmm. through the hair and the scalp, a really nice massage with it, and then thin the hair up and leave it on, you know, a nice half an hour. This is a wonderful, this is, you could do it with really any oil, but this is a really nice blend with some rock and mint essential oils, just great for circulation and stimulation on the scalp. This is a really nice one to add some moisture. Nice. Stephanie says, do you guys scale, sell a skin routine set? Just let me go back to the shampoo and conditioner that you have. Those are like a treatment. So, I mean, they're everyday shampoo and conditioner, but you really want to leave that on the shampoo on for about two minutes. So the herbs uh, have time to do their job. If you just put it on and wash it right off. They're not, they don't have time to, to get in there and work and clean out the hair follicle and, and do the process that they need to do. So you really, it's better to leave it on two to five minutes, then rinse it off. And then you do the same thing with the conditioner. If you have more of an oily scalp, you can just focus, you know, on your imaginary ends down here. Nice, good, good to know. Uh, Sharon says, do you have anything similar to glycolic acid for exfoliation? For exfoliation, our blueberry line, I think AJ had the blueberry cleanser there. 
this has uh, fruit acids in there. So we use fruit acids for exfoliation. Three different ones. And they're very powerful, great for exfoliating the skin. We make it in the blueberry cleanser and the scrub, but our fruit acids would be what we would use similar to a glycolic, and it's pretty exfoliating. Mm -hmm. uh, you can really feel the tingle here. So these are products I would recommend getting a sample to really feel that exfoliation. Uh, for someone who's who's really sensitive or has rosacea prone skin, it might even be a little bit too strong. So if you're real sensitive, I would go something more gentle. But if you have some sun damage that you like to work on, these are fabulous. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between the blueberry fusion cleanser and the blueberry fusion scrub? This yeah. one's more of a serum and it's and you, and you put it on like a serum and you leave it on again a minimum of two minutes, a max of five minutes, and then you're going to rinse it off, and that's more of a cleanser. It's a liquid. The, the blueberry cleanser is a liquid product, This, this one, one's a, more of a paste. This one's thick. Okay. You can see I've been into that one already. And this thick. one has scrubbies with it as well, diametaceous earth, so it's got more of a particle scrubby, mm -hmm. so it's thicker. It's got uh, ground bamboo and diatomaceous earth mixed with those three fruit acids. So you can really get it. That's great. Na Naomi says, what about redness, rosacea-like skin in the face and very dry skin? We have a fabulous cleanser, our rose geranium. This so has wonderful calming formulation. Even mm -hmm. men use it to shave their face. I love yeah. it to shave my face. Yeah, Augusto used it. This is wonderful if you have any redness around the nose, the face are real tender. This is just feels so soothing and gentle. Mm -hmm. And we also make a moisturizer that goes with it. So is that what you recommend for someone with sensitive skin? Because Naomi says, do you have a sensitive skin line? That would be a great this combo. Is combo. Nice. Um, Sharon says, do you have a mask that's like your blueberry wash? Yes, it's called the Fruit Smoothie Enzyme Mask. And we use the papaya enzymes, which are the, the professional grade. Tofu-based mask with papaya enzymes. Uh, mm -hmm. and very gentle. Something you can do maybe once or twice a week. And separate days, you want to give yourself. Or she could have been talking about the blueberry scrub, which you can kind of leave on like a little mask and scrub. It's um, this, this one has fruit acid, and this one has papaya enzymes. So two different ways of exfoliation. This one will be more strong. This one will be more gentle. This one you have to do at least twenty minutes. So you're going to do uh, twenty to uh, thirty minutes. You could do longer, but you need to do at least the twenty to thirty minutes. Great. Do you have any under eye treatments? Oh, firming eye cream. We have our firming flax eye cream here using the flaxseed oil. This is wonderful to bring some moisture to the under eye and um, around the eye. Hydrate the it. Eye. Also, I dab a little bit around the lips after if I have wow. a little, yeah, this area little here. feathering of lines. You get breaking down right here. You want to put that right there. And, and you can put it down here too. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. very nice cream. It doesn't have any scent to it. So it's really great for someone who's sensitive around the eyes. Uh, no scent, so it's very gentle. That's great. Uh, Debbie says, I just turned 63 and my skin is changing so fast. I'm really excited to explore these yummy products for moisture and anti-aging. So a lot of the uh, products seem similar, but with a different scent. Is that true? Like when you go around the store, like it's, it's kind of the same, but it's a different flavor? have a full body care line. So we make the lotion, the wash, scrub, oil, uh, mist, all of those in 13 different aromatherapy blends. So you could, once you know you need a lotion, you could smell all the different scents to choose the right one. And then we also have a full facial care line, five different cleansers, depending on your skin type, uh, several different moisturizers, serums. So lots of different products, depending on what your skin needs. It's important to understand that the facial care line is designed more by skin type where the body collection is designed by, uh, say, a soap, a wash, a mist, a lotion, like what you need in different variations. Essential oil blends. Uh, essential oil blends, uh, resins, and stuff like that. We have a couple of body care formulations that are a little bit different, like the Palm Springs collection has the, um, the, the, uh, the actual scrub has the medjool date sugar in there, where not all the scrubs have the date sugar in them, right? We have a special edition, like a chocolate truffle scrub, that has the 
actual cacao bean, the Ecuadorian cacao bean in there for the antioxidant value. So there's a couple of different formulations that we have, but more along the lines, the lotions and the lotions. That's so cool. Here's a fun uh, question from Tracy. How did you learn how to make these treatments and source all of these ingredients? Uh, well, it's taken many, many years. And it started with going to the library and reading, getting you know, books back <laughs> on how to make soap and lotion. That's where my mm -hmm. mom and I started before, like looking on the internet, we went to the Indian library. <laughs> yeah, the, we didn't have all the information that you have on the internet now, you know, back then the internet was just getting going. So you actually had to do real research and go to the library and check the books out or buy the books. And uh, I have a huge, my own huge library now of, of different books that I've and she loves to cook, so I think that mm -hmm. combined um, mm -hmm. curiosity, the need to cure her hands, and the love of cooking and combining ingredients, and mm -hmm. uh, her name, her knowledge, she vast knowledge of plant types. Yeah, she's not telling you about her plant knowledge. She, she knows, can any plant. And give she you knows the body lots name. of plants <laughs> and essential oils. So combining all that knowledge was a good uh, combination. Mm -hmm. And now all of us, it's you know multi generational now, learning and making, and what we're interested in. We research and if we want to use it we want to make a healthy uh, version of it so that we can have it here you know, I, I've, t I've taught cooking and spoken at many spots throughout the country, and they always have a line that they recommend, but yours is like so much better. You should be in all those spas. You know, you should really be there. It's growing. This is growing, but I think it's a word of mouth. I think people that are really wanting to get more healthy and get more Have you ever thought about making a, a makeup line with the same principles? Because I find makeup is just so, it's so hard to get good makeup that's natural. We like tried, uh, We tried to cut, make uh, makeup, but- We will again. <laughs> yeah, we, we will again someday, but it's really difficult with, because it's kind of like a, when you're dyeing materials, you have different dye logs. And that's why when you're gonna order, a, you know, a bridesmaid dresses, you gotta order all of them at the same time. So it's the same thing with with the makeup, and the minerals, the, the minerals can pack differently. They can be, uh, you know, from one one shipment to the next, they can be off. So it's really difficult to get consistent color and consistent application unless you have big machines that cost like a hundred thousand dollars to 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 do all that for you. So. You know, we're not there yet to have a machine that, that costs that much money. She has a formula she's been working on. They release it for a short time. So she's always cooking, she's always creating. So it may be released eventually, but she has she has in the, in the past created it was three different colors, light, medium, and dark. And I think that was its it was you I think that was all uh, because like she mentioned, you had to buy the light and the dark to get what you needed the medium and the dark, right? So you have to get a full range. Uh, warm tones, cool tones, and it just is like she mentioned. It's hard. Are, yeah, there's not a one size fits all with makeup. What about a sunscreen? Do you make a sunscreen? We have our solar day cream. It's a moisturizer with zinc, so it's using a mineral protection. Uh, we're into minerals. That's about a twenty. Oh, that's cool. So we have a question from Ellie. Do you have anything for acne scarring? She's sixty one and still has scarring. Ooh, the blueberry line for okay. that resurfacing would be good for past damage. Uh, that would be really nice. I would do. do I would do three things. I would do three things. I would do this, and I would. I would try to do it every day for at least two minutes, if not more. And then I would follow it with a combination of these two. I would mix them together. Yeah. So the facial emulsion, this is your liquid ionic minerals. Okay, so that's going to help build the overall health of the skin up. And then you have vitamin C. And this is a special vitamin C. This is a robosome, robosome C, which is encapsulated. And it needs to be refrigerated. So there's not very many of these on the market in the United States. And so... Um, what if uh, you ship it so you can actually ship them cold? We ship it, yeah, we ship it on with little ice packs. Mm -hmm. Oh, how nice. Yeah. Debbie wants to know if you have a foot care line. It can be out of the fridge for a little while, 
for traveling. It's just that when you, you know, are keeping it for long term, you want to try to keep your products cool so they will last longer, stay fresher, stay stronger. When you combine these two things with the cleanser, then you're going to have a, a really good uh, skin regimen to help with the acne scars. Right. So do you have a foot care line, asks Debbie. Foot care line, uh, no, nothing that says foot care on it, but we have our full body care line that would definitely work great on the feet. We have an exfoliating body scrub. The creams are the cream. awesome for the feet. Because those are made with the butters. You've got shea butter, cocoa butter, kukui, and mango butters. So those are great. Any, any of them that say cream? you got 12 different flavors. Wow. Do you sell shower gels, Ellen wants to know. Yes, we have liquid soap available at 13 different cents. Oh, that sounds great. I love everything that you have that's either mint or vanilla. Those are my two favorite of all your smells. Thanks, vanilla. <laughs> This one's my favorite. Oh, Thai lemongrass. Bad one. <laughs> Kelly says, what is your most gentle exfoliator for the face? Probably the fruit smoothie mask, doing this once a week. A little papaya enzyme. That's a very gentle exfoliation that even someone with a sensitive or rosacea prone skin could still use. I would avoid fruit acids. That's more, uh, a little bit more intense. So papaya enzyme would be great. We also do make a dry uh, powder exfoliator called the bamboo polishing powder. It's a very finely milled bamboo and that would be a great gentle exfoliator that can be used as well. It's called a polishing powder. I'll grab one here so you can take a look at it. Tracy says they all sound delicious. I want to eat them. And Tracy says, do you have a little factory of people making the stuff or do you guys just make it? We we do make everything and we have also little helpers as well when it gets busy. <laughs> I used to joke when I would come home from school when I was little, I used to go in the kitchen, there'd be pots and pans in the kitchen cooking. And I used to look in it for food and it'd be lotion cooking in there. <laughs> <laughs> <Soap in there. laughs> So Cynthia says, I wonder what the wonderful dermatologist you interviewed recently has to say about these products. Do you think it'd be possible to sell, send a very small sample of them to her? Because she's going to be coming on next month. And if she likes them, she'll say so. Maybe so. Maybe she can come in and see us. Well, she's in New York. The only problem is she's in Manhattan. Oh, oh well, we ship uh, free samples uh, with every order. We give them three free samples. You with the purchase. Free, with the purchase, with every order, you get three free samples. Plus, you get a, um, with a $50 order, you get a free um, sanitizer. sanitizer. One's over 100 that's, that's great. That's great. Yeah. We, we do a lot uh, to uh, get people educated on other products that we have. So we're always trying to include samples in the packages so they can te test well, that them. That's how you got me because of that. I mean, the, it was so nice. The gentleman there, like he wasn't pushy at all. He goes, I ah, just tried. If you like it, come back. And I came back the next day. He's a good salesman, good technique. And he gave me a good product to try. Yeah. So uh, not that we should eat your products, but we could, right? I mean, I would, I would recommend that, you know, it is the honey one that, yeah. but you're not, you're For you external don't. use only. <laughs> yeah, external use okay. only. I smell the uh, chocolate bar soap that we have, and I actually went into it, and I would not recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're going to get your mouth washed out with soap, may as well be chocolate soap, right? Shirley <laughs> says, do you have anything for itchy skin? Whole new meaning when they're trying to eat it. <laughs> it itchy skin? Um, Shirley wants to know, what would you recommend for itchy skin? Itchy skin. Probably our... Yeah. I would go back to scrubbing... Okay, but I would scrub with this, and I would scrub with a with the with the one of the um, anything that says scrub exfoliation and then hydration. So scrubbing, either dry brushing the body scrub, and then afterwards hydrating the skin. So either a nice mm -hmm. uh, lotion, or if you something you can be a little bit heavier, the thick cream. So scrubbing and hydrating afterwards. Great. Uh, Pam says, do you have a? Can you recommend an anti aging regimen with your products? Yes. Now, like we said before, we have five different facial care cleansers, several different moisturizers and serums. So we probably would tailor it to when we talk to the person, their skin, are they going through rosacea? 
Are they having any sun damage? So it really would depend on what their particular skin needs. Do they need some line reduction mm -hmm. serum? Do they need uh, help with sun damage? So it really depends on what their concerns would be. And then we would uh, go through a whole facial care regimen that might work for them. They, they can call because we spend a lot of time on the phone with them. That's nice. Yeah. Well, it's, it's so great that, you know, that, well, for where I live, I can come in in person. So, but I'm hoping people just give it a try and think, see if they like it. That's great that you include so many free, like, can they choose which free samples they want or just random when you put them in? Free, free with any order. Well, that's great. Well, I just want, you to know, Sharon McRae's watching and she is the beauty editor for Veg World Magazine and she loves your products. And maybe we can arrange an interview with you guys sometime so she could specifically write you up in the magazine and you could talk about the, the particulars of the different products. Yeah. Um, Tracy wants to know why you recommend dry brushing because she said the dermatologist I had on didn't recommend it. You, you must, you're a good listener, Tracy, because I didn't, I, I don't remember that. But then when I'm doing these broadcasts, I'm doing a couple of things at once. For lymphatic uh, drainage and exfoliation of the skin and massaging mm -hmm. it, uh, you can do, uh, you know, research online to see if it would be fitting for you. There's, there's probably lots of information maybe in both ways, but I would say just read through and see if it looks like something that you could benefit from. If you're going through something that you feel like you could use a little, you know, uh, movement of the lymphatic system, then it might be something to try. And if you don't think you need it, then maybe it's not something you need. But uh, the dry brushing is definitely beneficial to, to certain people. And you really feel the difference on your skin. When you do the dry brushing, your skin just feels like velvet. It's so nice. Do you, does your products have a shelf life? Like, I mean, do they, like, you know, they say like with mascara or certain makeup, you don't keep it past a certain point, but d does this, does it go bad because it has such fresh ingredients? It's gonna last you longer, uh, but most of these products you should try to use within 90 days, but they do have a year shelf life. And it's, but you wanna use them while it's fresh, while it's, while it's strong, while all the ingredients are at their maximum. Potential. Cool. Uh, 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 Snehal says anything for vitiligo. I can't hear you. Uh, anything for vitiligo. Vitiligo? Uh, I don't think we have. No, I mean, no. Uh, possibly I'd have to do a little bit more research on that one. I don't want to make a recommendation just shooting off the hip on that one. I'd have to, we'd have to do research and see if any of the products have ingredients that we need. So that's what I would do. I'd go in and I would research on all the herbs and all the essential what oils, what plant material, and uh, then put together something, you know, that's what I would do if I had, had, you know, a condition. That's what I did for myself. I just did my own self-research. So we might have something that could help, but we have to do some research to find out exactly what would be beneficial so I could uh, point you in the right direction. Christina says, how do the components in your Thai lemongrass work together? Dandelion, leaf juice, maca root, kelp, etc. cetera. Ooh. Uh, well, uh, those are great, great uh, alkalizing greens that we have in there, kind of, kind of like a, a tea for your body, all different kinds of herbs. Uh, we, tinctures. Tinctures, yeah. Yeah, we have a blend of them that, that uh, works together nicely uh, for the skin. We haven't had any. The, in the I like it because I like the smell of them. Yeah. I wish there was just one product that we wouldn't have to, it's not your fault, but it's same thing with makeup. I just that you could invent one thing that will brighten, tighten, lighten, so I only have to use one thing. Well, if you only wanted to do one thing, I would focus on, on this. Oh. I don't I think I have that one. Oh, yeah, wait, I think I do. I think I did get a sample of it. Vitamin C serum. And, and when, when and how do you use these? That, that would be helpful, like, because I have these samples, but I don't know, like, melon peptide cream gel, vital C serum. Uh, I don't know when and how to use them. French clay algae mask. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't know when, how often or what to use these for. Well, the vitamin C serum you're going to put on after you wash your face, it's best to do it in the morning time uh, because that's going to help fight free radical damage. And usually... Most of the time, free radical damage happens during the daytime, and uh, you want to slow that train down by using, you know, something that's, that's holding off on the free radical damage. And also damage. wearing sun protection. 
So you need to put in, put the zinc on after the vitamin C. If you're going to put on during the day, you need to have sun protection on. So some the nice mineral sunblock would be great. Now she's talking about put the vitamin C on, then put this over it. Cool. Tina says, do you have a shampoo specifically for gray hair? Oh, we just make one shampoo. It's our living hair shampoo, and it's safe for all hair types. It's paraben and sulfate free. It's also pH balanced, so it's safe for someone who has uh, color treated hair or non color treated hair. But it's our only shampoo that we make. Yeah, and I really, I really, do, I'm not just saying that. I mean, I really do use that, that the shampoo and the conditioner. So, let's see. Uh, Gina says hyperpigmentation that a dermatologist cannot help, but it's not melasma. Hmm. I don't. I, yeah, I can't. Um... The blueberry uh, exfoliation and the vitamin C serum; those can help. Again, that same. I would kind of stick with that, that type of uh, a line for exfoliation and treatment some repair serum for the radical damage. And then sunscreen, you gotta protect the skin. You have to put, wear sunscreen, wear hats, especially down here. Even just driving, running errands, you're getting a lot of sun uh, damage exposure. Wow. Uh, Naomi says, do all your products have SPF or is it just the one that you showed? Just the one. It's just that one, right? Yes, one. Okay. Only this one. 20. Solar day cream. Okay. And is that for the face or body or both? Face. Both. You can do it for both. It's, all, it's, it's only two ounces face. though. So it's made for the face. But if you put it on the back of your hands, you know, on your neck. I have to put it on my hands. Yeah, I put it on my hands while walking in the morning or while driving. I like to put it on my hands. When you, uh, Tracy says, when you started selling, did you have to follow any regulations or quality control? Uh, yes, we file. We follow all California good manufacturing practices, uh, registered with the, the city and the state and all the proper procedures. And the cosmetic industry, they also have guidelines as well as our insurance uh, companies. They also have guidelines. So and we recent, follow all the guidelines. Recently also uh, the city of Palm Desert, especially they have code enforcement going around, making sure all the businesses are in compliance right now, especially uh, with the, you know, the different change of events. Uh, so we always try to be in uh, compliance and compliance of everything. You know, we should make sure you're on, you know, there are lists for products specifically that are vegan and cruelty free. And since all but maybe you have like 300 products and all but four of them are, you should try to get on those lists because then more of us people will find out about you because I wouldn't have found out if I didn't have to go to the Apple store. Well, yeah. we'll, have, we'll have to work towards that for sure. I'll see if I can look it up for you how to do it. I don't think it's very difficult, but because I know a lot of people like myself that's an eth that are, that it, that, who is an ethical vegan, I always check that list before I buy a household product or a makeup product. And I don't think it should be very hard to get on it. And that, I know that's important to a lot of people, you know, but yours aren't just vegan. Yours are actually made out of like food. <laughs> Hence right. the, so is that how you thought of the name, Margaret, the body deli? Um... Yeah, kind of. I don't, I don't, um, uh, fresh food for your skin, fresh food for your skin. Uh, yeah, I originally had the, my company was called blue Lotus organics and, uh, I wanted to create, um, uh, uh, you know, have different stores around, but there was already blue Lotus Chinese food in, uh, Los Angeles. And I didn't want to be competing. I mean, even if it's a different industry, it's where you're going to go get Chinese food or you're going to go get facial care products. So um, my girlfriend and I, we sat and had dinner and, and had a glass of wine and kept talking about all the different names and the body deli just came out and that's what we went with. Great. Have you been in the desert your whole life? I've been here for 60 years. Oh my God. So you really, that's why your company's here. Wow. That's amazing. So uh, Layla says, do you export your products overseas? Is there an international patent on your products? These questions, I don't know how these people are thinking. Are they amazing questions that people are asking? Oh, we just make it here. So we're shipping, you know, orders individual for customers. We might have some uh, partners in Canada, but uh, we're growing. So, so we don't, we're not everywhere yet, but uh, through word of mouth, we just keep adding the uh, extra locations to where's our- the, Where's the farthest, uh, most exotic place you ever had a customer that, that, that you shipped to? We shipped to Japan. Yeah, Japan, Japan, Taiwan, Taiwan, Germany, 
Singapore, Switzerland, France, Germany, Germany yeah. Australia, really We're everywhere. We have a spa, a spa in Switzerland. Mm-hmm. So yeah, lots of different places. Well, it, seems, it seems like people are, are really uh, loyal customers because I've only been in your store. I think I've been to, the, been to El Paseo twice and Highway 111 twice. And, and there's always people there and it's like they know what they want. So they're not shopping, they're, they're rebuying. So it seems like there's a lot of repeat business for people. We're very grateful. We have a, a very a large a portion of repeat customers. So we, we really, uh, they become like our family. We're very grateful. A lot of wonderful people we get to interact with. And they're supporting a small family business instead of a giant corporation. So it's good for the community. Yeah. Well, I like it because it's vegan, it works good, and it smells good. And I'm happy also that it is. It's now to see the whole family that is good. Because somebody said, why aren't you guys wearing masks? And I'm like, they're, you he must have came on late. They're all in the same family. They don't have to. They're all related. Uh, we well, Actually, we all do wear masks. We just took them off for this uh, video. No, yeah, we all have our masks right here. <laughs> well, yeah. we just- we just took them off just to talk to you. Otherwise, you'd be talking like this. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, oh uh, Christina says, um, do, you, do you harvest your own ingredients locally in California? Uh, no, we, find, we have many uh, farmers and, uh, and suppliers that we partner with. We make so many ingredients that we couldn't uh, possibly make it all ourselves. So we have to partner with many different people. Uh, so, and we have so many different exotic ingredients from jasmine to uh, rose to so many different ones. Um, we do grow the we do grow the loofahs though. This yeah, is a loofah. That's cool. And this loofah, if you peel the skin off of it, it's the it's the like loofah loofah inside. Stuff. Some people think that these come from the sea, but they don't. They grow they can grow on a chain link fence like a giant uh, green beans and squash. And then you uh, harvest, you, you peel all this off. And, and we, we make uh, loofah soaps out of this. Mm-hmm. So we fill the loofah with soaps and then slice them into soap bars. So you can soap and scrub at the same time. It's that's, really good that's really cool. So we have a nice comment from, oh, where did it go? Let's see. Uh, Tracy says, can't wait to try some. My daughter is always looking for good vegan skincare. Thank you. And uh, let's see, I saw another one. Jamie says, I've been trying. No. Oh, Jamie says she's been trying to grow those forever and she can't. And somebody <laughs> also said that they're, oh, uh, that Jamie's excited to try these products. You, they, they like warm weather. They grow great, like in the South. They grow great down here in the, in the desert. They grow great in Mexico. So it depends on where you're located. If she's in an area that gets too cold, they don't like the cold uh, weather, the loofahs. Any products that are currently in development that we can look forward to? Well, we just released the uh, Phoenix Lift, that's brand and new. that's brand new. For we us. do have some new stuff in the works, but you got to sign up to our email list to uh, be the first to know. Can't let, can't let the cat out of the bag yet. <laughs> oh, Jamie says she's in the desert. She's going to try to grow, grow some loofah again. I didn't even know that loofah grew. I just thought it was like, a, so see, I learned something new every day, even on my own show. Uh, Christina said she thought it was from the ocean. Seeds. Nice. Kelly says, I love that this is a family business and can't wait to try it. Well, I hope you try it. If you do try it, I hope you like it. And uh, again, so it looks kind of like a, um, a large uh, watermelon seed. That's what knew. a loop looks like. Who knew? Any, any products you, that just didn't work out either because it didn't, it didn't smell the way you wanted or, or just look the way you wanted. So you had to like, a, cause like, I know as a chef, there's certain things that I just haven't been able to, you know, I, not, I don't have a lot of disasters, but I can think of a few that were not so great. Like we were talking about earlier, we would love to expand on the makeup uh, line, but we did realize that uh, very with frustrating, the, very frustrating mineral colors, you want the foundation to be the same color every single batch that sometimes the minerals were different, even though you're making the same, the minerals were different in color. So that's something we're still, uh, it wasn't uh, ready to, ready for people yet, but we'll still work on it. Nice. Uh, Naomi says, I love the loofah built into the soap. Is there a scent you recommend most on that? Ooh, that one I would just say what your preference is. What kind of aromatherapy do you like? Do you like vanilla? Do you like mint? Do you like sage? eucalyptus we have a lot of different ones to choose from so just uh maybe set preference whenever essential oil would make you feel uplifted you know and essential oils are blended for certain uh, specific reasons as well 
You have your uh, you know, lavender chamomile that's going to be helpful to calm you down. You have your mint energizer that helps with the focus, staying focused if you have the papers to do or, or research to do, and you need to stay focused or driving a long time. You need to keep your eye on the road. Uh, that one's really good. So it depends if you are more attracted to something that's, uh, you know, herbaceous or floral or uh, resin or something more sweet. Now, there's not an essential oil for vanilla. What that is is vanilla extracts and flavorings like they use with pastries and jelly beans. So everything's edible. You ever take flavor suggestions from your customers? Sometimes. I know it's kind of, we have so many products, like I said, over 300. And then they'll say, well, can you make one more? Can you make one? It's like, oh my God, <laughs> how many more can I make? <laughs> I don't even know how you guys remember what you have. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, this has been so much fun and I appreciate you guys, your time. And I'm, I'm glad you were able to reopen. And I, I didn't realize that we, I knew there was a plan. I just wasn't sure, you know, how quickly. Uh, it, just have to go ahead. We're so happy to welcome people back. Come and see us. Yeah, well, I, 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 well, I'm, I will, I will. I really will. Cause especially now that I know I'm supposed to use these up in 90 days, I'm going to have to get going. <laughs> um, El Elmo says, do you have anything that's Jasmine scented? Yes. yes. Our Jasmine Tuberose line is really nice. We have a whole Jasmine Tuberose collection. This is the real deal. It smells fabulous. This uses Jasmine Sombach essential oil. It's one of the most expensive essential oils in the world. And it just smells very elegant and luxurious. It's very beautiful. This is a this is a package that has all the different so you can sample it or you can travel. Yeah, I love I love that you have travel size. Mm -hmm. um, Ellen says that you have a very serene store environment and that your wall coloring is very happy. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice store, it really is. Well, oh, good, well, good. I'm so glad you guys are back to work. I mean, you always were working, but now you're actually seeing customers, so that's great. And continued success with your family business and good health. And uh, do you guys want to try any of the products? You remember you get three free samples with your order. And if you use Chef AJ10, all capitals, you'll get an additional 10% discount. So thank you guys. So, mm -hmm. thank and, you. and sign up for the uh, VIP when you get 10% of everything you buy goes in the savings account. Well, that sounds really great. So um, uh, Kristen says, thank you for bringing them on. Great information. You're, well, I like to introduce interesting and nice people to other interesting and nice people. That's what this show is about. You're welcome, Jamie. So please come back tomorrow at 11 a.m. when we're going to be broadcasting live from the True North Health Center with one of the medical doctors there for a Q&A with Dr. Antonio Soler. Well, thank you, beautiful Body Deli family. I really appreciate you guys coming on. Bye-bye.